This will be the first in a series of videos on the New King James Version counterfeit Bible. I have one, much like the picture on this article here. And uh, many years ago, when I first was studying for the ministry, uh, this website, av1611.org, uh, Dial the Truth Ministries, was a big part of how I learned a lot of the truth. This is an excellent article. Uh, you can check it out. If you go there, you can see talks about the mysterious mark there. This failed 666 goes down through, shows how it's on a witch's book of shadows into the occult and all kinds of things. And it goes into a lot of the comparisons showing why the New King James Version is no good. But some people would say, well, I understand that there might be some issues, but you know, we really do need to you know, update the King James Bible. It's just too archaic, too hard to understand. So the New King James, it's really just about making the Old English of the King James Bible easier to understand. That's what people think. Um, not true. Let me show you some examples. Here we have in the New King James Version, Acts chapter 21, verse 34. It says here, um, And some among the multitude cried one thing and some another. So when he could not ascertain the truth, because of the tumult, he commanded him to be taken into the barracks. This is the new King James. Look at the word ascertain the truth. What does the old archaic King James Bible say? When he could not know the certainty. Ascertain the truth or know the certainty. Is this really, does this really need to be updated? No. And as I show you the other examples, let me just explain why the new King James Version would change words that didn't need to be changed. Because that's the only way that they could get a copyright. It's called the derivative copyright law. See, if you're going to take this King James Bible right here and make a newer version of it here, then you have to substantially change the old text here and have a new new wording and things like that to get a copyright so that you can make all the money. See, the King James Bible has no actual copyright on it. Anybody can print this King James Bible. Okay? Interesting. So they have to change words. So right there you see no versus ascertain. No is definitely a lot more modern in modern usage, I should say. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 27, down here, look at this. Calls the horses to come up like the bristling locusts. Bristling locusts in the New King James? What did the King James Bible say? Calls the horses to come up as the rough caterpillars. Rough caterpillars. New King James changes it to bristling locusts. Huh? How is that updating it? A rough caterpillar. When it's bumpy and, you know, it's rough. It doesn't need to be updated to bristling locusts. It's not even saying the same thing. Two different things. Um, here we have Mark 126 in the New King James Version. When the unclean spirit had convulsed him convulsed him. What does the King James Bible say? Had torn him. Convulsed him versus torn him. Okay, Titus chapter 1 verse 6 in the New King James Version. If a man be blameless, the husband of one wife, having faithful children, not accused of dissipation or insubordination. Wow, dissipation or insubordination. What does our old archaic King James Bible say? Not accused of riot or unruly. You know, what's that? Is that Black Lives Matter? Are they rioting? No, it's a dissipation. And unruly there. Your child can become very unruly. No, it's insubordination. Maybe raised in a military family or something. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 30 in the New King James Version. The gecko, the monitor lizard, the sand reptile, the sand lizard, and the chameleon. That had to be updated. You know, this has to be an update. It has to be better than the King James. Let's see what the King James says. The ferret and the chameleon and the lizard and the snail and the mole. Huh? Compare the two. Compare the two. Ferret, chameleon, lizard, snail, mole. Gecko, monitor lizard, sand reptile, sand lizard, and chameleon. Uh, huh? I mean, how do you get... All lizards here, all reptiles, you know, sand reptile, I don't know what that is, sand lizard, uh, 
versus the King James Bible, the ferret, that's not a, a reptile. Chameleon, there's a reptile. Lizard, yeah. Snail, that's not a reptile. And mole, that's not a reptile. Three of them are not reptiles, but the new King James make them all reptiles. Yeah. New King James Version. The wings of the ostrich wave proudly, but are her wings and pinions like the kind, kindly storks? What are pinions? You know, I've heard of been steering with automotive stuff, you're rack and pinion, but uh, what's a pinion on a bird? But what does the archaic King James Bible say? Um, wings and feathers. Feathers. So the New King James says, Feathers is too hard to understand for our modern readers, so we have to say pinions. But look at also how they changed it again to something completely different. It's not the same thing. Oh, the new King James, it's the same as the old King James. It's just updated. No, it's not. It's a completely different Bible. Gavest thou the goodly wings unto the peacocks. The wings of the ostrich wave proudly. Huh? Huh? Then it says about to hear the kindly storks. Feathers under the ostrich. It's not even the same thing. It's completely changed. And I don't think God wants his word being changed like that. Again, you know, gavest thou the goodly wings under the peacocks or wings and feathers under the ostrich? I mean, the only thing that you could say would be, quote, archaic would be gavest thou. And that's it. Everything else is modern English. But the New King James, you know, you have to change that. You have to have pinions there. How about the uh, Lamentations 5.3, New King James Version? We have become orphans and waifs. Talk about old English, you know, Elizabethan English, or, or, or you're a waif. We have become orphans and waifs. Our mothers are like widows. King James, we are orphans and fatherless. Our, mother, our mothers are as widows. Why would they have to change fatherless to waifs? So that's just a small listing. There's a lot more that we could go over. But um, this book right here is where I got the list from. If you go to page 431, he has archaic words in the New King James Version. Right there. And he goes over many, uh, just lists, lots of them on the next few pages. And there's a couple pages into it there. And then he gets into archaic words in the New Revised Standard Version, archaic words in the NIV, archaic words in the New American Standard Version. And he goes into a lot of the supposed... Um, archaic words and actually shows that no they're not archaic uh, he defines what the word means and actually gives modern examples many times of how modern uh, news media articles or whatever else actually contain these words so um, and I just want to make a point you say with the Bible you know the King James Bible it's so archaic we can barely understand it anymore um, well wouldn't the Bible itself be called an archaic book, no matter when it was written, no matter when it was translated, even the most modern? Aren't they describing events that happened thousands of years ago? Why should we feel like we need to update something that is thousands of years old? And we have to continually update it and update it and update it to make it more understandable for the, you know, as IQs, plummet we have to also take the Bible down with it it's nonsense and if you actually study the issue like I've proved here in this video they aren't even updating all the supposed archaic words in the King James Bible they're not even doing it do not fall for the new versions right these new versions they're wicked they're not necessary they change the text of the King James Bible God's perfect word in the upcoming videos I'm going to show you some very serious doctrinal errors that are in the new King James Version um, that would keep me from even wanting anything to do with it other than just exposing it. So um, please watch the other videos and uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching.